Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show you all something else that I found while using the One UI for beta. So this is actually a bug and I have right here with me the Fold Edition S Pen. Let's see, can you see that? Can we get you to line up? There we go. Uh, so this is a Fold Edition S Pen that I'm using. And um, before I updated to the beta test, this was actually working very well. But um, ever since I've updated up to the One UI 4, this is what pops up whenever I try to write. You get this notification here that says, only use S Pen design for your Galaxy Fold. Other S Pens will damage the screen. And so if you're using the S Pen Pro, set it to Z Fold mode. Well, this is a Fold Edition, so it doesn't have the Bluetooth capability extra stuff that um, the S Pen Pro does. But if you actually have the S Pen Fold Edition and you're trying to use this on your display, it's not going to uh, work here. And so just something to be aware of before you update to the beta, or if you have and you're wondering why your pen isn't working, you probably have seen this pop up for you also. Like I said, before the update to One UI 4, before the beta testing, this worked perfectly fine and the device completely recognized this pen and I was able to do different things with it. But ever since the One UI 4 update, no pen, not the Fold Edition of all the ones to work. <laughs> the Fold Edition S Pen doesn't work on the Z Fold 3 on the beta test. Of course, if you're still on One UI 3, waiting for the official One UI 4, you'll be fine. But this is just for those who has also been beta testing here on the Galaxy Z Fold 3, something that I actually did find. And there are other users who was inside of the comment section. I'm gonna post some of the stuff that they found here. And yeah, this is the kind of great energy that we wanna see whenever we're doing like the beta testing. One of the things that kind of makes it fun is to find the bugs. I mean, that's part of why you update. <laughs> it's to try the new features, but still just knowing some stuff isn't going to work. And of course, if you ever want to, you could always downgrade back down to One UI 3. You don't have to stay on the beta test. So don't think you're stuck if you are. Samsung does provide a way for you to go back down to One UI 3. Anyway, this is just a quick video. Hope you all are doing well. Been kind of busy, so haven't been able to post as many videos, but I will go ahead and show you what the next video that I want to post is. And it is regarding... This here is a controller that I got from Amazon. It's a Bluetooth gaming controller. Only thing is, I don't think that it's going to work on the One UI Beta 4. If this beta test is just like last year's um, beta testing with One UI, Bluetooth controllers didn't work for emulators. So I don't think that that controller is gonna work, but I haven't even cracked it out of the box yet. But once I do, I will let you all know just what it's like using that controller, but I wouldn't be surprised if the device doesn't work with that Bluetooth gaming controller. So I'm planning to be uh, dropping a video about that this week, so stay tuned for that. And also, I did see that the channel now has new features that YouTube is allowing us to do. So I plan to drop a poll just asking, you know, how frequently would you all like to see some videos? Because that's one of the things for newer YouTubers, we don't really know. <laughs> so just kind of learn as you go. Um, but yeah, I'll be dropping that poll here soon. And yeah, you guys should be seeing some different updates coming from, I can't remember what they call the feature. I have to look at it again, but basically will let me start showing like pictures and text. So I don't always have to drop a video for if there's an update, something that I found that's exciting or for us to just be able to chat with each other. So anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching and I will see you inside of the next video.